Please join me in our prayer for the sick and homebound. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. Let's sing at the beginning uh, one of the carols. We do not sing them so often now, so uh, joy to the world. I think that everyone have that memorized, right? So at least one, yeah, the first part. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. Nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven nature sing. The entrance antiphon. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who perish him <coughs> perish, but may have eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my brothers and sisters, we pray for this is Dr. Robert W. D. Simon Jr., and this is Thomas Ralph. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the, dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light. Look, we pray with, the, with serene countenance upon us that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandments to you, but an old commandment that you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet, I do write a new commandment for to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, 
and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness, he walks in darkness, and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. It's a responsible psalm. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every man that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should see, that he should not see death before he had seen Christ the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember when we had this Gospel reading? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it is interesting that we are repeating those same readings um, 
And uh, we might think, we know already everything about uh, presentation of Jesus in the temple, so we should get something new, you know, to feed our, our brains, our minds. Uh, but the liturgy, uh, it is how the Lord is um, helping us to grow spiritually, sometimes bring, giving us back again and again, uh, like an account from the gospel, to, to contemplate even more, because there is always something new uh, what can uh, touch our hearts, because it's not only about inter intellectual, that I will be happy knowing something more. Yeah, we are so excited that, oh, I didn't know about this or about that. It is not only actually about feeding our minds, it is touching our hearts to choose the Lord one more time. So today we have this presentation of the Lord, and we read that uh, Joseph and Mary, they had to offer a pair of turtle doves it is interesting. First time when I saw that word, I said, turtle and doves? It doesn't make sense. Uh, or two young pigeons. And that was the part, uh, it was the law of Moses that was saying that uh, there was uh, the burnt offering uh, and also sin offering. And those who are rich, they were required to give a lamb. Those who are poor or middle class, uh, they could uh, give these two turtle doves or two young pigeons. Uh, so it is one thing that we know uh, from this gospel that Mary and Joseph, they didn't have uh, too much. And it's really possible that this presentation of Jesus had happened before the Magi will come. They come, they came. Because if they will have the visitation of Magi, they'll have a lot of you know, money, gold, for example. So we know, actually we can uh, say that it was happening that time. But what is the most incredible thing thing in this gospel is that Jesus was presented in the temple to uh, be redeemed but how God who is a redeemer has to be redeemed or Mary that she's uh, totally pure she's immaculate from her conception she had to offer uh, also for her purification the gift and it doesn't make sense at all right Jesus, who is a redeemer, had to be redeemed. Mary, who is uh, holy and pure, had to be uh, cleansed. Um, you know what is something interesting? Uh, it's showing us that they were totally um, following the, the, the will of, of the Lord. They fulfilled the whole law. And even that is not about religious law, because when the time came to, for Jesus to be born, Joseph and Mary, they went to where? Bethlehem. Why? The, yeah, because that was this uh, uh, writing that, you know, they had to put themselves on the list. And it was following the civil law. Yeah, so it is something that can help us to understand um, what the humility means. Not sometimes what we think, but what the Lord wants for us. Um, and another thing that this gospel can really give us the courage with is that God is really connecting the small dots, that he can touch the many, many lives through our actions. Because if, let's say, Mary and Joseph will say, you know, we are a perfect family, we have been chosen by God, so we don't need to go to Jerusalem, right? So then they will not meet S Simeon, who will receive the promise of the Holy Spirit that he will see the Messiah. So through the humility of the Holy Family, the promise for the Simeon could be fulfilled. Uh, that makes sense what I'm saying? Okay. For me, it's very excited because sometimes we think how the Lord can touch us, but he has his own ways, his own paths. And from the corner or from the path that we do not expect at all, we can really see the fulfillment of the Lord. So my brothers and sisters, this, uh, let this gospel reading today really help us to understand that our love first uh, is revealed through the commandments, as the first reading is saying today, that um, if we love the Lord, we are following the commandments. It is not the burden, it is act of love. If I love, I will be not cheating, I will be not stealing, I will be not gossiping. It is not because of the law but it is what the Holy Spirit gives. So let, let us see the commandments also as the occasion really to become humble, humble like the Holy Family. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the Lord's goodness, let us turn to him with our prayers and petitions.
For the church throughout the world, may the love of Christ continue to transform us into his likeness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who govern nations, may the Spirit bless them with wisdom and right judgment in their efforts to protect the sanctity of life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are lonely, may the Lord console and lift their spirits. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the grace of the sacraments transform us and deepen our commitment to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they soon be welcomed into the eternal banquet by our Lord and all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for an end to this pandemic and for all infected by COVID-19 that God will ease their suffering and return them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted all over the world and for the suffering souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. And for any special prayers or petitions we have in our prayer book and any special prayers or petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Loving and eternal God, the light of all nations, hear these prayers which we bring before you with trusting hearts and answer them in accordance with your divine will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the one we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drain. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, O Lord, may sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasant to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about the glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor, when our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Agnus Dei, Vitalis Peccata Mundi, Day, we told this 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter the Lord, but only say the word of my salvation. May the body and blood of Christ give me so for eternal life. The communion antiphon, through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sus sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in hope and peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hail Mary, of the Redeemer, Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. O salutaris hostia, which Bella premontostilia, la labor fer axilium, unit rinoc pedomino, sit sempiter la gloria, Tam sine termino, nobis tom.